Hey folks, Dagan here, and today I have the absolute pleasure to unbox and show you, and feel for the first time personally, the new Dodario XS strings. Now I've used Dodario for a long ass time now, uh, so they were kind enough to send me one of these nice little boxes that you've probably seen on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube and stuff, so I'll do, I'll do the little unboxing and show you what they've sent, and uh, then put the strings on my wonderful Kramer Pacer, and see how they feel. So let's go ahead with the old unboxing. Is that even gonna focus? Let's see. Let's see. So comes this beautiful little sheath. It's kind of like a like an Apple product almost. It's awesome. So I'm a tens guy on well, I used to be nines on strat scale length. Now I'm tens on this and Gibson scale length like 20, uh, 24 and three quarters. Slides out thusly. You get a nice little message from Zodario. <laughs> Hi! Hi, so the camera's just behind the door, and this is Olivia, ladies and gentlemen, and she likes to knock the camera out of my hands. It's a nice little message from Dodario. I'll, uh, I'll put a picture up on the screen to save me having to read all this to you, but and this is a nice little box set. They sent a white string winder with the clippers on the end. And I've used these for years. They're some of the best, well, probably the best string winder on the planet. You've got the little pulley thing on the end there for um, acoustic pins, and obviously the snippy snips on the back there. You've got some Dodario plectrums. Very, very nice. USA made, and of course, the new strings. The wonderful new packaging from Dodario. I've used the NYXLs for ages, so I'm excited to try these. Regular light nickel plated steel, it's bloody awesome. Now, I used to use Elixirs, and I love Elixirs, so I'm excited to try these and see how kind of elixiry they are. The other cats here now as well, this is Edgar. So you've already met Olivia. This is Edgar, and he loves getting picked up. Don't you? Hates it. Right. <laughs> so these are the strings. Opens up the small goodies inside. I tear off the little sheath thing. And let's go to town on these strings. Lasting tone, maximum life, incredible strength and stability. Impossibly thin, always true. Awesome. You get the new excess sticker. And I like these new packets that Dario's come in. It's like a, a sealed packet. So you can reseal them up if you want to, um, instead of having to break the seal on them. But yeah, that's the chat. Let's hide them on the guitar. So let's get started with removing the old um, NYXLs. And I could probably still rock these for a bit longer, but when I've got new strings to try, I can't not just put new strings on. Well, the guitar has the strings off, always give it a wipe down because I like relic guitars. Personally, guitars don't like to be played. However, when guitars get manky and all gross, it just makes it look like an absolute scumbag. So always clean the parts of the guitar which don't really look relic. Let's say the bits just kind of have natural wear and tear on where your, your fingers get all gunky under the strings that you can't really get to. It's a great opportunity to just give it, give it a bit wiped down. Oh, the, the ball ends are different. So usually on Tadarios, you get like purple, green, silver, blue, but these are all gold and black. Very fancy. I love it. Some people put the ball ends at the top and thread them through that way, but I have to cut the ball ends off. And these are so pretty, I might put them on the mantelpiece because they look so bloody nice. So let's get them. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel the coating. That's nice. I like that a lot. Oh, I'm very excited to try these, right? Let's get them hoid on and stretched in. On the plain strings as well, I can feel that coating and I'm, I'm here for it. I do, like I said, I used to love elixirs and stuff, but I went on the Dario train because I just love the company. So it's cool to uh, to get this kind of vibe back in my life. And with the NYXL core, well, the NY Steel core, you just know they're gonna be shit hot strings. Can't wait. See, with lock and tuners, you just pull them as tight as you can, then lock it in. Then to get it up to pitch, you haven't got to turn the tuning peg that far. And the less winds around the tuning peg, it doesn't really make that much difference with them. Um, with Floyd Roses because it, it gets locked anyways, but the less winds around a tuning peg, the more your guitar will stay in tune because there's less metal expanding and contracting up at the top, which changes the heat and humidity and all that jazz. So the less winds, the better. So lock and tuners I mean there's not many winds at all. But yeah, again, it doesn't make a lot of difference when there's a, there's a big lock and nut in the way, but nice to know. Now I think this is the only time you'll ever see me do a video on guitar where I'm sat down. I even like practice standing up and Obviously do the video standing up, I just think it's more fun for me. But I don't want to 
tune and stretch strings in standing up. So the went up to pitch just as you'd expect from Desario strings. They're not stretching yet, but I can feel. Oh, that's good. That is very good. Right, let's get them stretched in. If some beginners are out there watching this thinking, what the hell is stretching the strings in? A lot of people, when you put new strings on and tune it up, they go out and tune first thing, and you're like, these strings suck. It's because they're not stretched in. You have to like kind of wear them in almost. And the quickest way to do that is to just get the, the string to pitch, give it a bit of stretch down the fingerboard. Not crazy, you don't yank on it too much. And you notice it goes down in pitch, it goes flat. Then turn it, tune it up to pitch again, do it again, it'll go flat, and keep doing that until it doesn't really stray that far from the original pitch that you want. The, the note that it originally is. So there we go, we're all strung up with the new Zadario XS's and by God, they feel sexy under the fingertips. So smooth, so silky, not like slippy, like some people thought Elixir's way back in the day. It's not as intense as some of that, it's just kind of like, I don't know, you have to try, to try some of these out for yourself. It's a hard thing to kind of purvey when you play as many strings as you do like working in a music store. I don't know. It feels, it feels beautiful. I'm plugged in my little Black Star Fly 3 Mini here. I will say they don't feel different and that's a good thing. Sorry, they don't sound different, they don't react different under your fingertips to feel like a classic Dodario string. It's not a totally alien thing besides that silky, smooth, wonderful feel under the fingertips. And now, now I'm happy, I'm going to finally trim these guys off because there's a special circle in hell for the people that don't trim these off the ends of their guitars. I know Felix does it and he's cool, I know Tom Morello does it and he's cool, but trim them. It's easy when you've got the Dario little snippy sniff guys right here. But yeah, I'm going to put these strings on every one of my goddamn guitars because they feel unbelievable. <laughs> So the balance is there, they feel like Dario strings, we've got that wonderful, how many times can I say wonderful in this video, excess coating. I think they're fantastic. Please check out the new Dario XS strings, they're my new favourite strings, as of five minutes ago. Well, not even that, how long this video is. Where's the little box thing? Check them out, Dario XS, they're absolutely kick-ass. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit a subscribe and like and stuff if you like my stuff with PMT and my own stuff right here. Now I'm going to turn the camera off and just play a little bit longer on these wonderful strings after I cut these off. Uh -oh.